Welcome back to a brand new series that I'm introducing, man. Big shout out to Bloody Knuckles and one more subscriber. They mentioned I should do this, and I took heed to it, man. A what if dynasty of all of my RTG characters now? I'm doing four of them as of right now, so let's see how they turn out. But these are the settings, these are the sliders that we rocking with. Now, feedback is definitely welcome because y'all know I'm not used to doing you know dynasty videos, so you know comment input you know what would y'all like to see on the next video because next video i'm gonna do you know a couple of more you know what i mean so as of this video man you got jaheem owusu jr as of right now texas and oklahoma they are in the lead now i got them in the sec in the sec so i realigned the conference but De'Aaron campbell he's uh um, pretty much notre dame usc is starting you know, Malik Owusu Jr., Alabama, and Texas. Texas trying to make a run, man. They want all the top dogs. They Le'Veon Peterson, you know, the wide receiver that we did for a for and Oklahoma State is actually leading, but we had went ahead and fast forward to the midseason, and more than likely, Jahimu was signed with Texas. Bro, they, they coming for it. <laughs> they are throwing out the back. De'Aaron Campbell more than likely is leaving the East Coast, heading out way out west to SC play for Lincoln Riley Malika Wusu Jr. is staying kind of close to home I mean literally next door Alabama is end up going to sign him Malik Wusu Jr. that is crazy Le'Veon Peterson actually did a series that he went to AM and he actually will go to AM so that is crazy man kind of midway through this season Le'Veon Peterson end up signing with AM Jaheim Wusu end up signing with Texas and like I say Malik and Camp you know DeAndre they're going to sign with SC and Alabama so that's how it plays out. Le'Veon Peterson, number one prospect in the nation. But like I said, Jaheen is signed with Texas. Darren Campbell signed with USC. Malik in a signed with Alabama, bro. They got a stable of running backs. Freshman season. Robinson in the head of, you know, Jaheen. So he went really much to get that much playing time. But 248 with no scores midway through the season. Yeah, and Camel 18 total tackles, six solo tackles, 12 assisted tackles, two tackle for loss, and no sacks. You definitely like to see the numbers improved as you know the season goes on and games go on. Le'Veon Peterson, four catches, 32 yards, bro. That is terrible. <laughs> you feel me? That is terrible, man. But hopefully he can pick up on middle. But Malik Wusu Jr., bro. He got a lot of dogs in front of him. 10 rushing until 58 yards. Did not find the end zone. But that 5.8, you know, ground average is definitely good. We went ahead and fast forward to sophomore season. Malik Owusu Jr., 457 with six rushing touchdowns before he got injured. So you definitely know that he was doing his thing. Darian Campbell, one and a half sacks. You see the stats. He's, he's improving. You know what I mean? Definitely improving from last year. As we making that jump, Le'Veon Peters a 178 and three receiving touchdown. He's definitely making that leap as well. Jaheem Awusu, bro, he's a running back one 624 and five rushing touchdowns. Man, you definitely love to see it. Now here we are, the end of the sophomore season. Jaheem, bro, he he is a dog, man. 1141, 11 rushing touchdowns. Arguably, as of right now, he's having a better career so far. Out of them four, <laughs> if you ask me, former, only from the one time, Le'Veon Peterson, 465 and five receiving touchdown. Like I say, man, it's, he's making improvement from year to year. He's making progression. De'Aaron Campbell, three and a half sacks. You definitely love the numbers are going up, but you see, I feel me, but he's definitely love to see that your players are progressing. But, bro, this dude, 457, he must got, he was injured for the season, man. <laughs> definitely in it for the season start of the junior season Alabama coming in ranked preseason poll ranked number 10 99 across the board it's Texas number 14 in the nation preseason poll you got AM coming in at number 17 preseason poll a lot of SEC schools man definitely love to see it and USC coming in right outside the top 5 man they coming in at number 6 in the nation so far man Malik, he's definitely haven't had the career that you know we all calling him accustomed to. I mean, dude, he has talent, bro. He has the talent. You feel me? These are his stats. 
These are the stats for De'Aaron Campbell. You know, start of the junior season. And, you know, the, the sack numbers are going great. They're going great. You will, you love to see more, man. This kid is too talented. Y'all seen him when he was at Tennessee. So, yeah, he was a dog at Tennessee. For all my OG subscribers, man, y'all know he was a dog, man. Le'Veon Peterson, I don't think not a lot of people know that I did an RTG wide receiver, RTG series, but this dude is, he was a beast as well. So, y'all go ahead and check out that series, man. But, Shaheem Owusu Jr., bro. Like I say, he's my vote as far as just the better of the all for them. He's having the best career so far, no doubt about it. I mean, this kid is just, he's not like Malik. He's just not going. He, he, Malik got the speed, power, everything. But end of the junior season, man, Alabama finished 12 and 2. Texas. Six and seven, man. It's tough in the SEC, man. It's definitely tough. Y'all see everybody. Nobody's undefeated, man. And them finished seven and six. They couldn't play their players, man. But Alabama finished 12 and two. USC finished number seven. They finished 11 and three, seven and two in conference, bro. This dude, 215 and two, bro. What is going on with Malik? Like, for real, for real. This dude's injured for the second time. Injured for season, back to back, sophomore season, junior season. He did, and he's, you know, his injuries up high. So I don't know what the deal is or what's going on, but this dude is injury prone. I mean, you hate to see it, but it's all part of the game. But he's not having the career that I thought he would have. You know what I mean? But like I say, it is what it is. De'Aaron Campbell definitely, them sack numbers are jumping up, man. They definitely improving from year to year. So hopefully that will continue to climb. But as I said earlier in the video, man, if y'all want to see, you know, more stuff, man, input is more than welcome, man. Feedback, you know, <laughs> give me engagement, feedback of what y'all want to see. Levy on pizza, 835, 10 scores, man. They definitely got a quarterback they're going to get him the ball, man. So this definitely from year one to up to now, he's making progression. You definitely love to see it, man. I love to see it, you feel me? But Tahim Owusu, bro, he, he is... He's on a different level, man. Over 1,200 yards, go along with nine resting touchdowns, man. This dude is a he's a dog. <laughs> I mean, for real. Reception wise, 337, three scores. So, hey, this dude is the best of the bunch. Jaheim said, hey, he gonna take his time to the NFL. Projected as a fifth round. Whoever get this kid is gonna be absolutely still. But his career over 2,800 yards, 22 rushing touchdowns, man. You love to see that, man. But fumble seven times, man. That's something that scouts definitely will pay attention to. And that's something that, you know, seven times? Not good, man. But career four reception touchdowns, 679 receiving yards. So he missed to do it all. Really, but that one knock is no fumbles, man. End of the senior season, Le'Veon Peterson. I will say he had a high career, man. You you see the numbers steady climbing, but it fell off in, the, in his senior season. So I mean, he had a high, you know, middle of the pack, middle of the road. But drop passes, six total drop passes for his career. That's something them scouts gonna pay attention to, man. But here are the stats: senior season for De'Aaron Campbell, five sacks, man. He had okay, better than Le'Veon Peterson, if you ask me, but. Here's his career stats, man. 82 total tackles, 65 tackles for loss, 110 assisted tackles, 16 and a half sacks. Not bad, man. Forced two fumbles. Definitely not bad at all, if you ask me. Malik, bro, he finally, his last season at Alabama, he cracked over 2,000 yards, 20 rushing touchdown, 304 rushing attempt. They got this kid the ball, man. But early in his career, it wasn't going so well, but he damn sure made up for it, man. Definitely made up for it. Over 2,700 career rushing yards, 28 total touchdowns for career, but that's the end of the video, man. Like I said, y'all give me input, which I want to see in the next, you know, What If Dynasty series, but it's your bro, I say, hey, logging on to next video, man. Like, comment, subscribe on the video, man, and I'm gone. Tree. I wanna salute every nigga who run with me And it's a secret everything that you done with me Cause it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty Family